Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This video we're going to be taking a deeper dive and a deeper look into the rolling cache of Microsoft Flight Sim. We're going to be troubleshooting it in effect. I know a few people have been having a few issues with their rolling cache. So in this video we're going to be looking at both PC an Xbox Microsoft Flight Sim to see if we can solve your rolling cache issues so you can get a better, generally, a better looking sim whichever platform you're flying on. Okay, so let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. So you find me flying around the centre of London here with my rolling cash on. I'm in the Cessna 182RG Mark II. I'm going to link that video down in the description. And I've got, just for transparency, a London City add-on pack. So the Landmarks pack. It's one of the first packs that was released for Microsoft Flight Sim back in the day now, isn't it? Uh, but I'll link that video down in the, the description for you too. I've got live weather on. As you can see, London's looking rather nice. But let's get to options. Just press escape. And general options. This first tip, troubleshooting tip, will be for PC only. So in options and general options, go to your data tab. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see the rolling cache settings. First tip I would give you is see where your rolling cache path is pointing to. Just show you something on screen there. I've got a few separate hard drives. I've got my flight sim on drive A, which is a dedicated hard drive for flight simulator. It's on drive A, which is a 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. And just per se here, just, just, just to uh, expand on that a little bit, one of the reasons the new simulator is being released apparently, Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 edition, is because as Sobo was saying, if the path continues where they're releasing world updates and sim updates, you're going to need hard drives of several terabytes eventually to store your sim on if you have all the updates installed. So that's another reason they're releasing the sim, the new sim. Let's not get into that in this video. So I've got my rolling cache on drive A. When I actually installed Flight Sim on drive A, my rolling cache was, in, was initially pointing to drive C, which is my system drive. It's only like 120 gigabyte SSD that I've got Windows on essentially. It's my main system drive to, to drive Windows. And my rolling cache wasn't working properly when I was flying around London. What's going on there? It's okay. When I was flying around London, it wasn't updating properly. Then I actually assigned it to where my flight sim lives. Now to do this, if you're the same, if you've got your ha uh, flight sim on a separate drive and this is pointing to drive C where your flight simulator is not installed, perhaps, unless you have it installed to drive C, this is pointing to a different drive, all you do is click in the box and then you can choose a folder. So I can go to uh, my computer, this PC, actually it's not doing it, but that's where it was originally on drive C, it's only a tiny drive really, but drive A is where I had my Microsoft Flight Sim installed, so you go to drive A, find wherever your Microsoft Flight Sim folder is, it's easy for me, it's in my Steam Apps Common Microsoft Flight Simulator, so where your main folder is, where your community folder is, and goodness knows what, put it in the top folder, the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, and then select folder. I've got that selected already, so my rolling cache is working properly. So that's the first tip. Second tip, now this is debatable. Originally, I had my rolling cache on at eight gigabytes. So what that would mean is if I flew in different areas, whatever the last areas I flew in, 
If that 8 gigabyte was filled up in those areas, when I came to a new area, it would overwrite. I believe that's the way the rolling cache works. So if you're flying all over the world, uh, the last area is where your rolling cache will be filled in on. So if you take off in the same area, you'll find the buildings and the photogrammetry should be the same because you've got rolling cash on. Increasing that, I found, does help. And a good typical value for me is 32 gigabyte. This seems to work well for me. If you can spare the hard drive space, I'd recommend putting that at least to the same value, 32 gigabyte just seems to work well so even when i'm flying in a couple of different areas now i'll come back to london the photogrammetry is all filled in and the rolling cache has remained around london but that's debatable people can even put that further higher so 64 gigabyte and goodness knows what 100 gigabyte i think 32 gigabyte is a good value and you're not using too much hard drive space up depending how much hard drive space you have uh given over shall we say or allotted to Microsoft Flight Sim. So when you've done that, just fly around the area you want. If a photogrammetry area like London or New York or even Paris. One of those areas. And you're going to find that when you take off and land, all the buildings, as you can see, I'm not getting that crumpled look. London actually looks rather beautiful, doesn't it? Quite happy with the way my London looks. Of course, it would be nice for a Sobo to update the City of London. They've been promising that for some time. Update the photogrammetry here. Generally, I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, let's now move on to the Xbox. I'm going to show you now the rolling cache on my Series S. So I'm over on the Xbox Series S, live weather again, just to make that even. It's got a bit more cloudy since then. It's a bit of a cloudier day today over the southeast of England. I do have rolling cash on. Let me just show you. Go to general options. There's nothing you can change in the graphics on the Xbox platform, but if you go to data, I've got my rolling cache on same unlimited bandwidth for the internet and i've got it set to the same amount 32 gigabyte i only play flight simulator on my series s i mean i may try one or two other games or demos out but i don't usually keep them on there so i can get away with this i've only got flight simulator on my series s and a fair couple of add-on packages and world updates uh, so I can get away with this quite comfortably. You may not be able to, but you should be able to set some kind of rolling cash, hopefully. And the results, well, as you can see, this can often happen. I've flown over London a couple of times on my Series S, and it's not really rendering in the same as the PC. Now, obviously, there's a graphical fidelity gap between the PC and the Series S for sure. So there's not quite as many buildings and level of detail and that type of thing. And anti-aliasing and other things going on in the background there. But regardless, as you can see, you get that crumpled look over London. It does fill out, but it pops in a bit too. It's almost like the rolling cache is not being able to, is not keeping up with the limitations of the Series S. I know a fair few of you who watch my videos on the Series X. Do you get the same issues with the rolling cache? Honestly, chaps, I've tried a couple of things and I can't quite solve it. It does look better than not using the rolling cache. London can look a whole lot worse on the Series S. So the rolling cache does seem to improve things. Yeah, it's just not quite to the same level as PC. We've got a whole discussion going on in our Discord in the troubleshooting channel, I believe it is, on the limitations, the memory limitations of the Series S. And I do feel that's at play here. But it does look better with the rolling cache on than without it on. So I will give it that. It's just not quite working as desired, is it? Like I said, guys and chaps, let me know. Guys and girls, rather, now. <laughs> let me know if you suffer the same issues with the Series X. It's a 
Xbox platform I don't own. Regardless, that's my deeper look and troubleshooting guide into the rolling cache. Seems to work better on the PC side, I'm afraid. But do let me know your thoughts. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Comments down below. Comments down below with your own comments, thoughts and suggestions. Subscribe for more and I'll see you soon.